We believe that in the 21st century, the most important thing we can do for young people is to train them as young leaders. And so as we thought about that, we have really shifted our focus uh, from a traditional education in which we convey knowledge and then ask students to regurgitate it to one in which we ask our students to experience learning with us. If they truly experience learning in the form of projects, that in the end, that learning uh, they have for life. Uh, our campus encounters problems from time to time. One thing that's been important about our legacy and our history is that uh, our students have always been involved in solving those problems. Years ago, we needed more buildings and we needed to be strong structures. So historically, our young people have made brick here on the campus and our young people have used that brick in the construction of buildings here on campus. We needed more housing for faculty. So uh, just as our students have been involved in uh, making those structures in the 20th century, now with leadership as a focus for the 21st century, uh, we thought, what if we involved our students in the design of the structures from their very start? What if we shared with our students what it means to think like an architect? I remember being in a meeting here recently where one of our students said, well, you know, it gets really hot here. And we're just wondering, like, how are you going to keep these buildings cool? Uh, and as a result of that, the architects came back and they said, you know, we're actually building some structures that'll have a dual purpose. We'll use them uh, decoratively, but we'll also use them um, as shade and we'll shade the sun from going into that building and it'll keep it cooler. And so our students are already learning what it means to think like architects. And so those kinds of projects are characteristic of the kinds of projects that we want our students to be engaged in so that they're doing design thinking. For me personally, it's going to help me through college because I want to be in architecture, so. About three years ago, we had this idea that uh, we could do more solar. And as a result of the work that our students did, Tesla decided that they would donate 100 kilowatts of panels to us a team of students along with myself. We went down with a gentleman from Solar Alternatives and uh, he walked us through those panels and the impact that they would have on our campus and talked to our students about what the plans were for installing those panels and it's gonna save us some money, but it's also gonna be a teaching tool for our students and it already is one. So it was really cool for us to be able to participate in this activity. It gave us an opportunity to learn something new, something different. Instead of being in classrooms, learning in books and everything like that, we got a chance to go out and work with solar engineers to form a different experience, a different way of learning, which is something that doesn't really happen at any other school. That's the work we do. That's the work we build every single day here on this campus. Um, and that's the work we're asking people to partner with us on. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you will come visit our school and meet our students. We also urge you to consider making an investment to the Piney Woods School to help the future of students all over the world. For more information, please visit our website.